Hello there ladies and gentlemen, Sigla here and welcome back to another video. So we got an Easter sale in the store and I always forget about this one because like in my country we're Orthodox, not Catholic and for some reason we get different dates when we celebrate Easter. Uh, but yeah, we got some pretty interesting things in this store that we're going to talk about. Uh, and there's only two chests, there might be a special offer too. Let me, let me take a look at that. Yeah, there's some bundles. Uh, we're gonna take a look at that too. So, first up, we got the uh, Robin King. First, actually, let's talk about Batman the Drum because you kind of need her to get Robin King. The cat just pooped, by the way, so he's gonna be running around the house a bit because he's excited after he poops. But yeah, we got the Batman the Drum chest, and this is the good one. With those chests, I really hate it when they put on sale the inferior version because even on sale, it's actually worse than. Uh, uh, the, the the good version, but this is the good version, and this is probably the best chest in the game because you have uh, an eight percent chance to get arguably the strongest or at least one of the top three strongest characters in the game, Batman the Drowns. If you if your Batman the Drown is anywhere lower than seven stars at this point, don't really worry about more than seven stars because she's might. So class ascension will not help her that much. But if she's anywhere below seven stars, I actually recommend you open this chest. Unless you're also missing Robin King, which we're gonna talk about. If you're a new player, open this chest. Again, if you need any Batman the Drown shards and you do need Batman the Drown shards. Please open this. This is this is amazing. And then we have Robin King, which is something that you also might want to look into. And that's why we are on the secondary account, because I've been trying to get this man on the secondary account for quite a while. And we're going to do some openings. But yeah, this one basically is the best support for Batman the Drowned. And you don't need gears for him. You absolutely do not need any gears for him. Uh, but what he effectively does is he makes Batman the Drowned from a character that can do well in most situations and can one-shot most things into a character that can do all in all situations, can do well in all situations and one-shot every single thing. Because what he does is basically makes the enemy not able to do anything to you and then makes... Um, the enemy take crits so you can actually have got got get on Batman the drown for convenience purposes and then uh, have the crit benefits from him he buffs her damage he is insane and yet again you can get your Batman the drown to doing 2 billion damage but that's going to be in some fights in some situations with this man you're going to be good to go in every single situation and this is kind of the only character in the game where I'm like well is not mandatory but you're gonna be so happy to have him uh so yeah let's take a look at the special offers and then we're gonna cycle back but yeah definitely get batman of the drowns and you could also consider getting robin king over here like this is this is definitely good i mean 25 percent is not a huge amount but those are very good characters generally speaking Okay, so in the special offers, we get some Easter bundles and we get the Armory Crate Artifact Bundle. Um, so this is gonna, if I'm not wrong, have one artifact out of every single artifact in the game. A bit of resources, a bit of artifact reforges. Yeah, the resources are not really much. The, the resources are just here, just to, for the purpose of being here. But yeah, look. I don't really recommend spending money on this game, but if you wanted to, if you actually want to spend money on this game, this on a 50% sale giving you a Soul Raid artifact from East Soul Raid is, is definitely not a bad deal compared to what we usually have in the game. With the things on the paid offers, I always say that you need to make this judgment for yourself. For example, for me, this is a lot of money. I could eat a week with this amount of money. But at the same time, compared to the other things that are in the store, uh, this is definitely worth it. So yeah, if you ever wanted Sword Artifacts, this on this much of a sale is, is definitely going to be good for you. Um, what else do we have here? Uh, the other things are going to be those things uh, which are Easter related, I think. So this is going to give you um, five three star gold characters. And I think, oh, they don't, I don't think they have, do they have every single gold character in the game? I mean, there's the good ones at least. 
And there's also the new ones to an extent. I mean, there's some garbage in this selection, there's some good stuff in this selection, but I don't recommend buying those in order to get the specific characters. Uh, how, however, if you're the new player just starting out the game like a week ago or something and you're struggling in an arena, buying one of these is going to be a pretty decent boost for your account. Oh, this is going to have uh, three, uh, six, eight, four star characters. And if we take a look at this big bundle, you're going to have a lot of five star characters. I mean, this is at this point really overkill if you want to spend 100 bucks. I mean, I guess be my guest, but. If you're a new player looking for a boost for your account in Arena Champions Run, you're just lacking characters, I recommend this. But yet again, the judgment as far as money goes, it's up to you. And this is something that you're only going to buy for an early boost. You might get something that's going to be useful later on, you might not, because again, there's a lot of garbage in here mixed up with some good characters. But having this many 4-star gold characters is definitely going to help you out in Arena Champions Run at the start. So if you want to make that choice to get a bit of a boost, be, be my guest, I guess. Okay, let's take a look at the Robin King chest and see if we can finally unlock him. Um, I have uh, 75 shards for him, so we don't even need the uh, full unlock here. Oh, this is disgusting. Oh, boy. This is sad and bad. Like, nah, bro. At least we got some EPI shards. At least those are not useless to me anymore because of the um, new ascension system. Let's let's open 10 more. Come on, buddy. Give me some Robin King. Ooh. Wait, I have 75. I have 75. The only way I don't unlock here is if I got 250 drops. Oh, he's unlocked. He's unlocked. He's so unlocked. Let's go, boys. We got Robin King. Be on the lookout, Sam. Um, be on the lookout uh, on the uh, uh, on the channel for some um, Robin King videos on the secondary account. I'm so happy I finally unlocked this man. And again, you don't need gears for him because you're probably gonna equip Puppet on him and you're gonna activate it very easily because of Batman and the Drowned having God Killer and also giving a lot of negative effects. You're gonna be fine without gears, so be on the lookout for some gameplay with my boy Robin King on the secondary accounts. Oh boy, this is definitely definitely gonna make my life a lot easier on the secondary account. This is a huge boost. This is a huge win, boys. First special and third special are relevant. I actually would want him to be a bit higher level to be to be fair. To get that third special further upgraded. Uh, but yeah, all that being said, thank you so much for watching. Like the video if you liked it. Dislike it if you disliked it. And I'll hopefully see you all in the next one. Goodbye.